In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four circular options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the first option comes with a circle icon and you can add the title and the detailed text. And when I click, the next option comes, you can see here, then comes the third with different color and then the fourth. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this tutorial. So let's start the video. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval click here and then height and width I'm going to make it as 2.4 then align center align middle shape outline no outline shape fill I'm going to fill with white and I'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl D and then this one I'm going to make it as 2.7 all right and then you can give any color of your choice and then this also align center align middle and send this to back okay so we end up getting a shape something like this then i'm going to duplicate this again press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to align center align middle and then i'm going to cut it into half for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering half portion of the oval shape then select the oval shape hold the shift key select the rectangle merge shape i you can see here i can subtract so i end up getting a shape something like this and then i'm going to give somewhat darker color to this you can see here somewhat darker than this and i'm going to send this to back all right and then i can just put it like this or if you want you can just increase the size by holding the shift key if you want and you can just place it like this here it doesn't matter if it goes up also not a problem so then i'm going to select all of these and then let me just move it here to the left side all right and then i'm going to add one rectangle you can see here maybe this much size shape outline no outline shape will make it wide and then align center align middle all right now i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl g to group it you can rotate it you can see a flip horizontal and then you can make it flip vertical and i'm going to place it something like this you can see here and let me just ungroup this now all right and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d and i'm moving this one the other side okay and then let me just select this press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl g to group it rotate it you can see here i can make it flip vertical and i'm going to place it here all right something like this and then i'm going to select this without this one or you can select this also press ctrl d to duplicate i don't need this one i'm going to delete it so i'm going to select only this part and i'm going to place it here all right and then let me just select this only you can see here i'm just selecting sorry let me just ungroup this first of all i wherever group is there we need to ungroup it so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this okay only the white and this one and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this to front so it looks something like this this white band it's gone back side and then if you want you can give some shadow effect I want to give shadow effect for this select both of this right mouse click go to format go to the effects shadow and i'm going to select the top one and for this two i'm going to give the shadow effect for the bottom one 
all right and now depending on the requirement you can just change the color for example i want to give some different color here i want to give maybe light blue here and here i want to give some dark blue okay you can see here and for this i want to give maybe a red and for this darker red or the maroon color all right and for this i want to give maybe a light green with a dark green combination here okay so you can see here our basic design is ready now it's time to give some shadow effect so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape something like this shape outline no outline and i'm going to set the gradient fill gradient fill i have used two stops here you can see here one i have used completely black and the other one is white okay for the white you have to make it completely transparent and for black you can see here we how much black you need you can just select that much and then send this to back all right and i'll move it somewhat here press ctrl d to duplicate all right then i'm just going to add it here one okay and press ctrl d to duplicate add one here and then the same thing i'm going to add the bottom and then i'm going to just change the direction you can see here direction from this side i'm going to place it here ctrl d i'm going to place it here one and i'm going to place this one here then select all these shadow effects all right and send this to back so you can see here the shadow effect has been created now again if you want to reduce the size depending on your requirement you can just reduce the size also you can see here i can just reduce it all right so like this you can just reduce the size as per the requirement and then try to adjust it properly you can see here all right so the shadow effect has been created now it's time to add the text if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert icon uh, insert and icons you can just select any icons of your choice so randomly i'm selecting four icons here move it up height and width i'm going to make it as 0 0.7 and then i'm just going to bring the icon on each circle you can see here something like this and then you can add the title if you want you can make it bold and then you can add detailed text all right and then center align i'm going to give maybe gray color reduce the font size and put it here now both this i'm going to duplicate select and duplicate and then just add it one by one press ctrl d and add it here all right so you can see here our basic design is ready and if you want to give more coloring options or some animations you can do that